Hey everyone, Failco Punch here. I wanted to make a general, frequently asked question video to make info easy for everyone to access. We are going to be going over where you can find copies of the game, the new stuff you can expect to see, and just why it's back in general hype. Let's get into it. Wow, Gigantic is back! When slash where? All right, so Gigantic Rampage Edition will give fans of the original game a bigger and more gigantic experience than ever before, while welcoming new players, including Hero Shooter and MOBA fans, to the thrilling team-based multiplayer game. The game will launch on PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series XS, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on April 9th, 2024, for $19.99. Yes, you have heard that right. The game costs money now. If you're looking for a deal, there are other ways to get your hands on some keys for the Steam version. Try Humble Bundle, Green Man Gaming, or this last weird one that you have to meet some requirements for. It's accessible via this Twitter link that I'll post here. It will bring you to this site called Lurkit, where you will have to create an account and uh, meet their requirements. I couldn't find the game just by searching for whatever reason, so either put in the URL I'll provide here, or go through Twitter for that one. I'll put all those links in the description below as well. So, Gigantic is back! I beg your pardon? Well, the devs heard our cries of sadness, and we have a new studio in charge of bringing back our beloved game. Gigantic Rampage Edition is developed by Abstraction Games. They seem like a bunch of Gigantic fans that are aiming to keep what we love about Gigantic while adding some new features and quality of life changes. Everything will be available in this pay-to-play version, which means you can unlock everything in-game with gameplay or in-game currency and no microtransactions. The game is still capped at 60 FPS, just in case you were wondering, but we love it anyway, and for most, this shouldn't be an issue. All right, so what's new in the Rampage edition? Well, the new stuff by abstraction is this. We have Rush Mode. Rush Mode is a brand new alternate game mode introduced in Rampage edition that emphasizes shorter game times and reduced complexity, meaning you should be able to just get into a game and enjoy the experience with very little know-how. Here are some details. All heroes start at level 10 with all skill upgrades available. Only one wound must be dealt to the enemy guardian to achieve victory. Each side starts with an adult summer bloomer, or two depending on the map. These act as a heal station. There's no summoning of creatures, meaning you can keep all those ult charges for destroying your enemies instead. All power must be collected manually by heroes at certain spots on the map, or obtained by killing enemy heroes, 10 power per kill, or bloomers, 20 per kill. You can swap heroes and builds as long as you are dead or on your team's respective airship. And yes, you can re-enter the airship. Another new feature is the new skill builder. Under the builds tab of each respective hero, you can create up to three custom builds per hero. You cannot edit builds while in a match, but you can swap to a different build back on the airship. This makes for some pretty cool things you can do. There will also be two new heroes, the bounty hunter Roland and the pirate assassin Kajir. Oh my god, Kajir, this is my spirit animal. A new set of tutorials, end of match grading system. Now you will be able to see how well you did that match. The stats are grouped into three different categories. One is offensive, one is defensive, and one is support. The offense ones are of course kills and assists. For defense, you want as few deaths as possible, but apparently it also looks at damage taken. For support, it looks at the healing, buffs, and debuffs that you've done in order to give you a grade. How exciting! Wow, a C! Yay! Another huge update is that crossplay is now active. This means you can play with your friends on the available platforms once you opt into crossplay in the settings menu. Will my progress carry over from the original game or the beta? Sadly, no. You can log in with your old ARC account that you may have used to play the OG run of Gigantic, but none of your progress will transfer over. Big sad. I will miss all my skins, but I'm sure we'll all earn them again in no time. Wait a sec. I heard about Rush Mode, but what about the original game mode, Clash? Yes, Clash will return but will only be unlocked at account level 10. 
As of the February 2024 beta, Rush Mode will be the only available game mode for you to play as it acts as a primer for new players to come to grips with the heroes, tactics, and core combat game loop of Gigantic. Creature loadouts are also coming back with all creatures that were available up until the January 2018 patch of the original run of Gigantic. These creatures will only be available for use or summoning in Clash Mode. You cannot summon in Rush. So what can we expect post-launch? We are getting new skins that they will announce and most excitingly, finally getting ranked mode. This is a post-launch content feature, so we don't know when it'll be out, but look at all these super shiny badges and rewards you can get. Ooh, art. That's all I know about post-launch features. Uh, if I find anything else out, you'll be the first to know. Get hyped. Abstraction Games seems genuinely excited to give us Gigantic back. Make sure you join the Go Gigantic Discord for any other questions and join the community as we all wait patiently for Gigantic's return. I am hyped as <laughs> and I hope to see you all in the airship. Failco out!